Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friend of the neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And we are starting a new series today called Can You Out Harbor the Freight? Now, Harbor Freight has long been the go-to for budget DIYers. You may find that there's something out there that you want that, you know, it, it's a great tool or a tool cabinet or something like that. But it's just out of your price tag. Either you can't afford it, or the reality is you don't really, you're not going to use it that much where you need to be spending, say, $600 on a sliding miter saw. Maybe $200 is more in your league. And that's where Harbor Freight has always jumped in and been the go to source. But can we do one better? Can we find maybe some tools or accessories or cabinets or solutions like that that are even less expensive or or find a, a better solution outside the box solution to some of the stuff we do. Now, I've been thinking about doing this series for a while, and one of the inspirations was that some of the guys uh, had sent me some pictures of some of the stuff. Now, this isn't the ones they sent me, but it you know, reminded me of a lot of the old shops that I've seen where you find somewhere who took a, took a dresser like this and turned it into a workbench. It's nice, it's sturdy, it's heavy, it's solid, and it's got a ton of storage. And lots of guys have been doing this for years and years and years. And it's one of the most obvious go-to go ones. But what other solutions might be out there? I mean, heck, I was looking at the free uh, bin on Craigslist today, and this thing popped up. Now, you look at this and like, that's a, you know, dirty, rusted piece of, of trash there. It's an old cooktop, a Blackstone cooktop surface thing there. But you know what I see looking at that? I see if you cleaned it up, you took that grill surface off, that's a nice little free miter saw stand. There's a lot of stuff you could do with that. I guess you could also fix it up and cook with it too. But hey, you know, anyway, so I was perusing, if you will, the old Amazon. And I don't know if you knew this, but Amazon started doing this live thing. It's kind of like QVC, DIY QVC, if you will. And uh, they sent me an invite for it a while back. And every once in a while, I'll take a look and see what people are doing and stuff. And then today, I was perusing the old Amazons. And I ran across this channel here. Now, this is his channel is called Tools Electro DIY. And I'd seen uh, the floating desk that he designed there uh, a while back. And, uh, and but I had, it was actually referred to by a different channel. I hadn't seen it. This is the first time I saw his channel. I'm like, I got to see this, how he has a setup and everything. Because it looks pretty cool. Anyway, he, he's doing his bit and he's talking about the, the things that he's selling there on his Amazon Live. And then he turns around and he grabs this cart. And I was like, that, see, that's exactly what I was talking about. This is, apparently he got it from Ikea. Uh, it's a simple little three-tier rolling cart. As you see there, he's got his tools in it and everything else. It's got a mesh bottom on it. He's got, uh, you know, uh, Dremel accessories and stuff bolted to the side. He's got a little wood block with a clamp for a, a microphone stand on it. So you can use it as a, a rolling uh, recording studio if he wants. Anyway, this just, it, it got my, my the uh, you know, the brain juices going there. And I'm like, there's a lot of guys who could use a solution like this. Now, to set the baseline here, Harbor Freight does have a three-shelf steel service cart. And by all accounts, it is way more rugged. It's bigger, it's more rugged, and it's not much more expensive than the stuff that he's using. I looked and I found a, a cart very similar to the one he was using. It's $36.97 there on, on the old Amazon. It's a little bit cheaper if you get the one from Ikea, but not everyone's got an Ikea near them. Uh, and not everyone wants to go to Ikea because, you know, it, it, it's Ikea, right? I mean, the meatballs are great and all, don't get me wrong, but who wants to walk through the uh, the Minotaur's maze that is that place? Anyway, fact of the matter is that for thirty six ninety seven free delivery, uh, it's the number one bestseller in the uh, was in the utility carts on on Amazon, and I mean, you know, watching him roll it around and everything, I was I was fairly impressed by this thing. And not only that, I kept looking, kind of went down the old rabbit hole. You know how that goes, and and I found all sorts of other solutions. Here's a similar cart. It's slightly different. It's got the handle up top, makes it easier to grab and pull around. But it's also got this. If you can see it, it's got a like a wood surface on top of it, so it gives you a little place to sit stuff. You can have smaller items underneath. Plus, you get these little clips and little cup holders there. Now, the bottom of these uh, these little trays here, they're kind of, uh, I don't want to call it mesh, but there's holes in it. There's a pattern to it or anything. 
anyway, I mean, this this one's $35.69. And I, I kept going and kept going. There's tons of these things out there. They're all sorts of different colors. You know, I should mention that and talk about it. They co come in the traditional mechanics red. You've got it in, in the industrial gray. You have it in the inside the house, you know, nursery white. And, of course, we've got it in the kind of Hercules or a.k.a. Tiffany blue there. That I, I, I got to say, I got a soft spot for those kind of colors. You know, that kind of vintage retro kind of look. Uh, and, and a lot of them also come in the other colors. This one comes in white. Uh, I'll put links down below if you guys are interested in these things. Like this one. It's got a nice little surface up top rather than having the tray like this one does. Or like it has down below. Uh, $39.99. There's a 5% off on that one. Uh, but, you know, we, we keep going. Look at this. This one, the whole top of it is a small parts bin. All right, maybe you're looking for fasteners or something to carry around with you. Put your tools down below. There's all sorts of solutions here. But the one thing there, actually I should say, I should say there's more than one thing that kind of got to me. All of these have a similar flaw in the way the wheels are uh, connected to that base. So you've got that tubing that runs around the base. And then at a right angle, they just do two little tack welds for the, uh, the mounting for the wheels. And a lot of people have a tendency to snap them off. Now, the guy I was watching, he never had a problem with that, but he had a nice, smooth hardwood floor that he was always rolling around on. A lot of people I see, they're rolling around in a shop space like this guy. He, he's trying to use this in a shop. Uh, you, you can see the cabinets and stuff next to it. My guess is he snagged like that mat or something like that or hit a seam in the floor or something and snapped that wheel right off. And he's not alone. There were a lot of these people who've had this kind of problem. These are not high-end carts. They're supposed to be for around the house kind of stuff. Anyway, it's clearly a flaw. The other flaw I thought maybe for the solution that we're talking about is the way the trays are mounted. They're mounted very close to the center on both of these uh, these pipes here, which doesn't give you any support on the edge, which I think would add to a lot of flex. Because let's be honest, you, you know you guys are going to put some tools in there and weigh those things down. So how do you find a solution for that? So I looked to see if there's a heavy duty solution of a similar thing. And I found this, look at this. I like this. Now this comes in a couple different colors, actually from this seller, there's other sellers. I found all sorts of colors. There was a forest green, there's blue, there, there, anything you want practically. Now here's the difference. The wheels go directly into the tube mounting. So you're not going to have that same kind of shear factor. Yes, I'm I'm not going to put it past you. It's not a challenge. I'm pretty sure you could manage to shear it off if you weren't paying attention. But looking at this, it does seem to me like that's going to be a, you know less of an issue. And looking through the reviews, I did not see the slew of reviews like in the other one where people talking the wheels got sheared off. So that eliminates that problem. On top of that, rather than being mounted at kind of like the center line, this is an A-frame that's starting out at a very wide, and even when it gets up top, it's still narrower. Also, the one thing you need to realize, these trays are each slightly narrower, slightly smaller than the one below it, because when they ship, they ship inserted on into each other, so, you know, to minimize the, the shipping size of the box. Anyway, this seemed like a fantastic solution. Look at that. That looks like it's going to be a lot more sturdy, a lot more rugged ish you know come on we're talking about you know a cheap 40 dollar tray here for a three-tiered tray from from amazon it's got uh, locking wheels on it that's a benefit i think this could be something i could really see using in the shop and at, uh, at this point i'm like okay i i found a solution this is we're gonna get this one but then i was like you know a lot of guys tell me you know and the reason why you'd want this is because you don't have as much room in your shop for like you don't want the big three-tier one from harbor freight because it's a big cart this is a smaller solution. You can use this in, you know, in the in a single car garage. You could use it, you know, some people guys use it in their basement or even a room in their house kind of stuff. Uh, I could see a lot of uses for a cart like this. But what if you need more space? What if you need it to be a little more flexible, if you will? Check this out. This is a folding version of that cart. So you can see here, this is the, the full size version. And then stuck over here next to the fridge is the folded up version. So if you're not using it all the time, you can use it like this. That is that is pretty clever if you ask the, the bear here. Look at that thing. That is amazing. And it, this one also comes with those little cups that go on the side with the little hooks. I'm sure you will load this thing out like nobody's business. I, I just love the idea of the flexibility of, of having it be foldable. Now, of course, this one comes in a couple different colors. Look at that blue. Like that blue. Got to like that kind of a periwinkle, if you will. And it comes in in a, it was like a white or off-white kind of thing. Can't really tell here if it's a true white or not. Anyway, 
a lot of different ideas here, trying to come up with some concepts of things you could do with it. You know, as it, I mean, I ran across this one. I don't know if this is something that I, I would use, but maybe you could find a solution for it. Maybe a paint paint can holder that can roll around. That's a, there you go. There's a solution for that. So that's what we want to do here. We want to start us an idea of out of the box kind of thinking ways you could do this and, and ways you could expand on it. I mean, think about it. If you, you get yourself a, a little cart like this one here, what did it say there? We had a max capacity rating, uh, 44 pounds per layer. Now the other one was rated at 20 some pounds. I looked at it. So this is clearly a sturdier cart now. I mean, looking at the bolts on it, it's clearly not going to be super robust or something like that. But at 44 pounds, you can put some tools in it. The other thing you can do is you can add some accessories. You know, how about a magnetic screwdriver holder on one side? You got some extra parts there. You got your screwdrivers. This will take most of the U.S. general kind of accessories. There's spray can holders you can hang off the side, paper towel holder, uh, the, the little key rings for hanging other little items off of it. Uh, of course, you got your magnetic parts dish. You know, you got to have that. Of course, you can also go color coded if you want to be fancy. <laughs> I even, I even thought, you know what, this would be great if you're working on, like on the lower end of an automotive, uh, like a vehicle project or something like this. You could put a couple spotlights on it and use it as a, a rolling light stand, or even a couple clamp lights. You clamp them on the handles or something like that. In fact, you know, you put one of these USB and uh, power strips on there, and this is magnetic as well. Snap that right to the side. You know, maybe put an extension cord in it. You could roll it, have a portable power base station in in your shop. This is there's a lot of ways you could use this. So that's the challenge I got for you, and that is, can you think of some other ideas, some other ways? Uh, some other things you think that maybe we should start considering as some out-of-box solutions, how we can out-harbor even the freight here. And also, of the solutions we showed today, which one piques your interest the most? Which one would you like to see? And you know what? The bear, I'll order that one. We'll get it in, and I'll do a video of setting it up and testing it. Maybe we'll kick it down the street or something, see if those wheels hold up, kind of do a little torture testing on it and see what we can do with it. And then maybe we'll see if we can mod it out. So I'm going to put some 4 by 4 wheels, we'll do a lift kit or someone anyway that's all the bear has for you today you all take care god bless and as always come on say it with me shine on